Um, traveling, I had three machines that just didn't want to participate. So I'm using uh, Catherine's downstairs. NB, welcome. I'm so thankful you could join us. So NB is a brand ambassador from Nepal, um, a beautiful country. I've been there. It's absolutely wonderful. It's good to have you. Thank you so much, John. It's my opportunity uh, to be with you. And uh, I'm very glad uh, that you have invited me. And also, you know, it's my opportunity to, to see all the, uh, you know, artists around here. Uh, thank you so much, uh, you know, inviting me. Excellent. So um, just for everybody watching, I'd like to go and give NB his full hour, um, totally on me. So if, uh, if you can't stay for the entire hour, we will actually stream it. So you can always watch the uh, full version at a later time if you'd like. But I wanna make sure that we give NB enough time to do his painting and also um, answer questions. Is it okay if we answer questions, NB, while you're painting? Is this okay? No problem, no problem. Okay. And Ethel, do you have a slideshow for NB? Yes, um, yeah, we're ready. So NB, we will start to share the PowerPoint slide. We, be, we will begin with your social media accounts. Okay, please. Can we all see this now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So would you like to take us from here, NB? This is your Instagram account. Yeah. Just making sure that everybody um, gets a chance to continue connecting with you via Instagram or via Facebook. Uh -huh. This is NB's uh, Facebook account. And he also has a beautiful website. Um, right on in his gallery, you, you'll get more inspiration. And then the next slides, NB, will have uh, sample artworks, beginning with this artwork. Carry on, NB. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, portrait of a uh, Nepali old man. And uh, it's been already collected in uh, China uh, three years ago. And personally, it's uh, one of the favorite painting of mine. And uh, this is uh, the, uh, you know, northern side of Nepal. So there is... Uh, uh, you know, full of snow, uh, it's chilly season there. And uh, there is one pole that is written only 18 kilometer to reach to Dadil Dhruva. It's a part of Nepal. And uh, these are birds, bird series. Uh, recent days I'm painting bird as well, um, you know, why I'm painting bird is that uh, since I post, uh, start posting some of my birds, many people, they uh, like uh, the way that I'm painting. That's why recent days I'm painting birds as well. And uh, this is uh, a place called, uh, you know, Jharkot in Mustang. Uh, this is also in Northern uh, side of Nepal. And uh, the technique what I have used is here, uh, weight on weight technique uh, is, uh, uh, you know, uh, I love to paint uh, on weight on weight technique. And this is the painting uh, in, weight on, in weight on weight technique. NB, I have a question. Yeah. Please. That painting looks so fresh. Is this done on location or is this done in your studio? No, this is in the studio. I painted it, uh, but uh, most of the time I love to go outside and, and I, I love to paint. Uh, but the challenging is with the weight on weight technique. When you paint outside, then the, a little chance to finish, uh, you know, uh, I mean, in weight on weight technique because the sun is there, wind is there, so many obstacles. Yeah. But but inside uh, the studio, oh, just, uh, we have time to work on that technique. Thank you. Welcome. And this is also the mountain uh, escape. Uh, this is also from the northern uh, side of Nepal. 
as you know that Nepal is mountainous country and everywhere that you see is mountain. Uh, and also you, you see the rivers. Uh, uh, yes, so many natural beauties that you see in Nepal. And this, this also from the same, I mean, I mean, place, uh, I mean, from the same uh, side. Uh, so snow is there and the light is coming there behind. Uh, this, is, this is also working on weight on weight technique I worked on. <laughs> and this is one of my recent work. Uh, you know, but this kind of uh, kind of experimental work, you know, but, uh, personally, I don't like to paint all these uh, subjects, you know, uh, because uh, most of the time I work uh, on portrait. Uh, these are, you know, part time paintings, let's say, right, like bird, you know, uh, pets and flower, you know, flowers, you know, they're part time work, you know, mostly I prefer to paint. Uh, uh, you know, mountain and uh, portrait uh, and some landscapes of Nepal. That's the last iceberg. Is that your dog? <laughs> no, someone has given me this, uh, you know, photograph, you know, and then I paint, uh, you know, uh, from the photograph. And what the technique did you use for the yeah, dog? Yeah, most of them are weight on weight technique that, uh, you know, I prefer. Uh, today also what I'm painting is weight on weight technique. Uh, you know, you see that most of my paintings are done on same technique. And your, draw, your paintings of the landscapes are big or are they... Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, they depend on subject. Uh, sometimes, you know, if I have to, uh, you know, cover the larger part of the places, I mean, things, definitely I use a larger, uh, you know, uh, paper, otherwise small. Uh, you know, most of the painting that uh, already we have seen, those are done on half sheet, that is uh, 14 by uh, 20 inches, uh, work on arch paper. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Do you wet your papers on the back side? Um, sometimes, you know, I feel very lazy, you know, to, uh, you know, wet everywhere, right? <laughs> and uh, mostly I just wet uh, front and then, uh, you know, for that I need to, uh, you know, keep on just washing my uh, paper. Otherwise, you know, it dries very easy. I mean, very, very uh, quickly. But uh, when you keep on, you know, washing your, uh, you know, paper for a while, then it holds water for a while. Okay, thank you. But that's a good idea. What you are, uh, you are asking, John. Uh, you know, when you have, uh, you know, wash, uh, you know, behind both sides, then definitely it will. It, it takes time to dry, and it helps us to paint. Uh, I mean, the whole area. Uh, you know, in uh, what we're you know, looking for in that time that we can finish the painting. Yes, thank you. What type of paper do you use? Uh, mostly I'm using arch paper, you know, uh, recent days I'm using water for as well. Uh, Sometimes bao hung, particularly I don't have that uh, certain, you know, particular choice of, uh, uh, you know, paper, but mostly, of course, uh, like uh, many artists, they prefer to work on arch paper. And uh, arch, uh, I prefer uh, rough, uh, 300 gram. And, and, and from, from, you know, uh, not from seed, uh, I like to paint on, you know, that block uh, is available. And uh, don't know the reason behind, but uh, I love to work on, you know, that, uh, you know, from the pad. MB, would you like to like to start? Yeah, sure, sure. Painting? Yes, please. And then we'll ask you questions. I just want to make sure I give you enough time. Okay, then. Just uh, okay. Uh, I do have you know already uh, sketch uh, you know uh, today's painting. Okay. As I already told you that I'm painting mountain. Uh, this mountain is called uh, Fistel. Uh, 
uh, I'm working from the reference. Okay. Okay. Uh, while I'm working, uh, you can have uh, you can reach some questions. So I try to answer them. Um, yeah, step by step, uh, you keep on asking the question, and I try to give uh, the answers. Okay. okay. So I want to see my uh, reference for today. Okay, this is uh, the mountain, what I'm working. This is my reference, okay? And uh, this one as well, there are three. I'm working from the three, this one as well, okay? Yeah, shall I, shall I start? Oh, yes, please. please allow me to start uh, today's uh, demonstration. Uh, as I already told you, that is a weight on weight technique. And uh, first, you know, I will weight uh, this paper. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm using uh, waterford paper. It's uh, 14 by, um, I mean, 12 by 16 inch. And do you paint on on an incline? Is your paper on an angle? Yeah, this is um, you know horizontal. It's not uh, vertical. Yeah. So can you see my sketch or not? Yes, I could see. I could see a little bit of that line. Uh huh. Okay. I'm taking a flat, uh, big brush. Okay. It is cloudy mountain. Just I'm waiting the paper first. And they, yeah. Uh, uh, the brushes that you're using there are they um, squirrel uh, ake brushes? Oh, this is squirrel. Uh, it is uh, called, uh, you know. Uh, it is, uh, you know, imported from China. Yeah. yeah, black mice. It's called black mice. The brand is. You prefer your your paper with texture or with no texture? No, it is uh, of um, uh, you know uh, hot. I mean, cold press, rough one. Okay, keep on washing. I mean, for a while. And B, there's a question from Facebook. This is from Sandra. I'm sorry, yeah. from John. Um, did you stretch your paper? Uh, actually, I'm not really stretching this paper right now because I've just uh, picked up from the block. Because 300 gram uh, paper is enough uh, not to, not, uh, to be uh, stressed, uh, you know, every time. So, mm. 
just a little orange. Is this pyrrole orange? Yeah. It's going to be cloudy. So I have here ultramarine blue, Daniel Smith ultramarine blue, and crimson as well. cloudy mountain. <clears throat> A question from Facebook and me. This is from Lalitha. So for painting landscapes, what do you prefer? Do you work with cold press or hot, pre hot press paper? No, mostly rough I prefer. Rough texture. Thank you. And be, do you use any special tools? Uh, some people sometimes will use a credit card or maybe some kind of tool from uh, the hardware store. Do you have any tools that you like to use? No, not, I'm not, not using those things here. Okay, just uh, whatever I have here, you know, uh, just, you know, water, I'm using water here, you know, and then I'm not using other things. Thank you. MB, when did you start painting? Sky? When did you start painting? When in your life did you start painting? Oh, you know, since my childhood that I started painting, but you know, when I came to know some of, uh, you know, artists that I can, I, I made them and uh, somehow, you know, I'm attracted to, you know, with their uh, paintings and, uh, I started painting, you know, uh, almost 25. Professionally, I'm, I've am i started my painting, you know, for the last uh, 20 years. Okay. And B, what, uh, what is your source of inspiration mainly? Uh are you more inspired by landscape or um, people? What, what is your main source of inspiration? No, no, of course, you know, uh, the beautiful sceneries that we have, okay, in Nepal, uh, those are, you know, uh, those are my, of course, inspirations. And also, you know, I love to paint uh, portrait uh, because typical portrait always attracts me. Uh, so many cast, uh, you know, uh, are you know here in Nepal they do have different costumes. They they do have different, uh, you know, the way of living. Okay, and definitely those things, you know, uh, attracted me, inspired me to paint. Thank you very much. That's lovely. Welcome. Love your portrait also. Okay, it's almost, uh, you know, wait and wait. MB, 
And B, how um, therapeutic is painting for you? This, this one? Therapeutic, like uh, you had, I was looking, you had answered a questionnaire that was sent to you and you said there is a, uh, there's like this form of uh, painting that brings you like a, a, like inner peace or something. No, definitely, you know, while we paint that, it gives a kind of pleasure. Pleasure, that's the word. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, painting is a kind of thing that, uh, you know, is released our pain, our happiness. Okay, here I'm working on the shape of uh, the mountain. And B. Yeah. Um, there's a certain mountain uh, not far from where you are. That's quite tall, called Everest. Have, have you yeah, ever been to that? Uh, yeah, Nepal is a tiny country, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that much far, you know, going from one place to another place. Um, yeah, everywhere that we can see, you know, a uh, mountain, you know, uh, from any place that you see. Have you specifically ever painted Everest? Sorry? Have you ever painted Mount Everest? Yeah, so many times mm -hmm. that I have painted Mount Everest. Have, have, you, have, have you been able to go, ever go near the base camp or anything like that? Yeah, near once I've been there. Wow. Just, to get, just to get to base camp is... Uh, a massive privilege for people. Uh -huh. And this is also the season this time. Uh, you know, many people are coming from outside to climb Mount Everest. How long did you work with your mentor, NB? How long? Yes. So almost three years that I, you know, worked, uh, I learned from my mentor. Basically, I'm a self-taught artist. That's wonderful. Do you look to other artists uh, for inspiration? Who? Do you look to other artists for inspiration? Yeah, I look, uh, you know, like uh, Elvaro's painting, I look at. And, uh, you know, uh, Om Kim Singh from uh, Singapore, I look his, you know, painting. Uh, lots of ins inspiration, in inspiration that I can get, you know, looking when I look, you know, from their works. Mm -hmm. I see a, like a Turner and a Monet influence. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because they were the impressionistic artists, you know, uh, somehow, uh, you know, impressionistic style reflect in my work as well. So definitely they, you know, from their lifestyle, from their paintings, you know, uh, I have been inspired. Okay, slowly save is coming. I love how that uh, orange has given it a, a nice afterglow in the sky. Yeah, this is what this is why I used you know uh, orange color. 
some you know uh, uh, you know some people they like uh, colors you know colorful mountain all right sky as well and uh, yeah for me also you know i love to uh, see those color in the sky and in the mountain we noted yesterday when we were looking at your dot card <laughs> that it was very vibrantly colored do you get a chance to actually, when you're doing landscapes, to actually really unleash all those colours? Sorry, I couldn't get uh, uh, properly. Um, do you get, when you're doing landscapes, do you, do you get a chance to actually use all those very vibrant colours in your, in your painting? Yeah, def yeah, definitely. When I go outside, you know, uh, you know, sometimes what I do is that uh, whatever I see, I don't like to, you know, even going outside. Uh, I don't like to, you know, uh, you know, uh, find those uh, color in my painting. Uh, you know, for me, painting is not uh, like exactly uh, what we see and we paint. Differently, sometimes we have to paint. And uh, so in that case, I use, you know, some different color. Yeah. And we had a follow-up question on Facebook from Sandra E. Ball, stating that Monet loved gardens. In B, do you love to paint gardens as well? Maybe uh, uh, sometimes, you know, I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, maybe can we talk uh, later? Just I'm, because it's, it's a wait on wait uh, that I'm painting, you know, sometimes I'm missing the rhythm. Uh, okay, few few questions that is preferred. Uh, uh, maybe later one we can uh, discuss uh, a lot. Is it okay? Yes, that's fine. somewhere dry brush as well. I'm using spray as well, sometime. I'm using here ultramarine blue plus crimson. And uh, this is cobalt blue.
some texture. So full of cloud is there. So very nice, you know, uh, paper it is indeed. It's a waterfall.
I see, it's a fantastic event. Fantastic event. Are you enjoying? Yes, beautiful. Amazing, Andy. Thank you. Actually, I love the cloudy scenario here. I'm loving how that simplified foreground is really making your eyes go to that mountain. Exactly. The problem with weight on weight technique is that uh, you have to have a uh, very, you know, thick uh, hue. Otherwise, when it dries, then it becomes, it looks lighter. Do, do you normally allow uh, your layers to dry? Or, or do you use uh, an air dryer? Yeah, no, no, I'm not using here dryer because uh, when I use dryer, then there is no use of what I, I, I you know, I'm talking about weight and weight technique. But uh, sometimes it automatically dries and uh, uh, we have to finalize sometime, you know, we have to uh, take the decision uh, whether, you know, we have to keep, uh, you know, as it is or otherwise we have, you know, spray and we can use the spray. Mm -hmm. You can again, you know, make it wet. And Daniel Smith, you know, color has some quality that help, you know, always uh, to maintain, uh, you know, uh, you know, what I'm looking for. slowly coming, right? Okay, just for a while. For me, it's starting to look like a master oil painting. Well painting? Mm, when, when you see some of the like great masters who've done oils, it, it's got that it's got that feel of and do power. you mind me asking a question yeah it's actually in the chat and uh wanda here asked uh, do you paint this fast when you're doing a portrait at what do you work this fast when you do a portrait painting? Oh, yeah, yeah, portrait, you know, uh, there are two techniques, uh, especially for me. One is, of course, weight on weight technique. I have to work very fast, okay? Otherwise, it dries. Otherwise, you know, just um, uh, give a wash, first wash, and wait for a while, let it dry. Uh, and, um, yeah, it depends on, the, you know, always, it doesn't mean that, Portrait takes time, and it depends on you know the position. 
Um, there are there are so many factors that play the role. Thank you for answering Wanda's question. To follow up with that, Sandra E. Ball also asked, do you use other techniques other than wet on wet? Yeah, right, uh, yeah, wet and wet. I, I prefer sometimes, you know, but not, uh, uh, sometimes, you know, I like to, uh, you know, work on, you know, wet and dry, dry and wet. So in that way also I use some time, but uh, most of the time I like to paint, uh, you know, on wet and wet. Okay, just I'm working here for the sake. Is your paper still wet? Yeah, to some portion. If it dries, then definitely I have a spray. And I use a spray to maintain. No drop of water as well. Make it feel it's chilly, it's cold. It's too much cold. Yeah, some of the portion has already dried. NB, I have a personal question. Yeah, please. Um, how often are you using burnt tiger's eye in bloodstone? No, bloodstone is for me, uh, it's very new color. Uh, you know, when I saw other painting and uh, you know, I'm attached with that, uh, you know, quality of that, um, you know, color. Okay, slowly that, you know, I'm, I'm not that much used to, but uh, I love it for its quality because it has got very different, uh, you know, quality. Can you share with everybody here about what's up and coming for you uh, with your travel to, as you are an ambassador in Nepal to share these paints in Nepal? Color, about color, telling about color. Yes, yeah, so uh, Daniel Smith Watercolors is new to Nepal. Yeah, definitely it's new. You know, previously it was, uh, you know, some colors we were sponsored during our festival in 2016, okay? Maybe it was uh, Catherine that I talked and also uh, Madam Stella Canfield, she helped me, okay, to connect with uh, Catherine and then they supported us, you know, some colors, you know? So at that time in 2000, it was in 2016 for the first time we used uh, Daniel Smith in Nepal. And since then, um, uh, you know, in Nepal, we, we have no any uh, dealers that they are, you know, importing uh, Daniel Smith. But recent, recently, okay, it was from uh, India that we have, uh, you know, received, uh, I mean, been introduced here in Nepal uh, because, you know, I mean, our art dealers are importing from India. And it's easily available now. That's wonderful news. And also, uh, last time Catherine was talking about uh, that we have to educate, uh, you know, uh, the artist uh, since we are using a very local brand in Nepal. Uh, you know, unless we educate, uh, you know, good uh, quality of paper and uh, color, 
people are not using, artists are not using, but once we educate them, definitely uh, they will love and after knowing them, they start using uh, this kind of, you know, quality color and paper. And also I'm, you know, going outside uh, across, uh, you know, uh, Nepal, uh, you know, demonstrating art of watercolor and uh, educating people about, uh, you know, Daniel Smith. Uh, and uh, definitely I hope that they love this brand and they start using. Many they have already, you know, have, uh, uh, I mean, wish to use uh, Daniel Smith. And the yeah, uh, what what media do you prefer to use uh, out of the tube or in a pan or stick? no definitely yeah definitely from tube that I love I prefer yeah. you know as I already told that it's newly introduced in Nepal so all mm. varieties are not available here at. And, uh, you know, uh, from the beginning that uh, we are using here, uh, you know, uh, tubes. So definitely we are using tube and uh, if we have variety of, uh, you know, color here, then definitely we'll try. All right, thank you. And B, what signals to you that you're that you're done a painting? When do you when do you know you're done? Oh yeah, it's this most difficult question, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, while working, sometimes I work, uh, you know, on the same subject, okay. And uh, it depends on our mood and our satisfaction. When we satisfied, uh, or or when we. Uh, judge ourselves that oh it's okay it's finished then we definitely you know stop our painting otherwise we keep on working but there are advantages and disadvantages of them you know if we sometimes what happens is that uh, when we do not satisfy we keep on working and then uh, you know overwork sometimes you know mess the uh, quality of painting all right this is a most difficult thing you know when to uh, finish and uh, you know when to stop where to stop but it, it is all about uh, you know your intuitions uh, you know whatever you have learned before and that that uh, it, they depend on that when you're painting you use mu music yeah, music definitely, you know, but uh, I'm not uh, you know, playing music this time, but definitely I love to play, you know, uh, some Hindi ghazals, very slow type of, you know, melodious ghazal, you know, I love to listen and uh, they help me to concentrate on my uh, painting, you know, uh, otherwise sometime, you know, there would be many things behind or outside and that disturbs, you know, uh, while we're painting. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I listen to uh, music uh, while I'm painting. Thank you. Welcome. Has your, has your medium always been watercolor or did you also practice in oil? Yeah, most, of the time, most of the time, you know, uh, I use watercolor and uh, uh, for a while, sometimes, you know, I love uh, to work on well. And B, this is yeah. Stella. Hi, Hi Stella. Hi. I, I love your mountains. I believe that you, what I so much enjoy when you paint, that you really paint what you like in Thank what you, you really feel about. And your paintings Thank are so beautiful and emotional. Thank your you mountains so are wonderful. Yeah, th Thank this was you. A, yeah, madam, this was the same thing that I was talking, you know, before starting our demo. You know, I just, uh, you know, told the friends that uh, maybe two days ago we talked about, right? And I was wondering what subject to be done. And definitely that you suggested me to paint mountain and uh, in a way that I'm painting mountain today. 
It's, it's because and I remember <laughs> we, we were right under that mountain looking at it. That's uh, this beautiful, beautiful painting. Thank you. Welcome. We had some other questions in Facebook, including one from Sandra E. Ball, uh, from when we commented earlier about Monet loved to paint gardens, and do you also enjoy painting gardens? And to follow up on that, Rajat Sabra Bandopadhyay asked, um, what are the other subjects that you like to paint other than mountains? No, definitely that, uh, you know, mountain, Recent days that, as I told you, you know, some birds, pears that I'm painting, you know, but predominantly that uh, I, I paint portrait uh, and uh, mountain and landscape, uh, mostly, you know, uh, Nepalese uh, uh, landscape that I, that I prefer to paint because I grew up here, you know, I grew up uh, looking around uh, the beautiful sceneries, all right? We yes, had another question good. in Facebook from yeah, Cheryl Politis asking if you like to paint in silence or do you prefer to listen to music? Um, yes, mostly as I already told uh, you that uh, I love to listen music while I'm painting, but today I'm not painting. I'm sorry that you know I couldn't play. <laughs> yeah, as I told you that why I listen to music is that uh, it, it uh, somehow uh, you know, it gives me lots of pleasure, uh, you know, and also it helped me to constrain, concentrate on my work. I have another question. Is Nepal mostly the time like uh, you're uh, painting like uh, with snow and uh, uh, fog and all that? Or do you have uh, yeah, in, in the mountain, in Nepal with yeah. another climate? Yeah, you know, in, in the mountainous area, definitely, you know, uh, 300, I mean, the whole year there is snow. Yeah, but uh, in the, uh, you know, Tarai area, in the uh, hills, uh, and of course, in the uh, land area, there are, you know, different uh, weather is, uh, is available. Uh, yeah, in the mountain, definitely it's too cold there every, I mean, year, I mean, Every day there is, uh, you know, snow falling. And do you take your own pictures? Uh, yeah, okay. uh, yeah. I I I love to, uh, you know, photography as well. Um, then you know, wherever I go, I take photograph of them. Sometimes we paint. Uh, I mean, I paint uh, on the spot. And uh, those, uh, you know, sceneries that I cannot paint, uh, uh, you know, outdoor, then definitely I take photograph of them and then I paint on my studio. And B, do you have other talents like uh, lip syncing or karaoke or? <laughs> you know, uh, there, there is TikTok that is helping to have, uh, you know, lip syncs, you know, uh, beautiful songs are there, though, you know, I'm very poor in singing. I mean, you know, I like to listen to those song and then have lip sync. And you, you might have seen some of my TikToks that I posted. I think yesterday also I just posted. <laughs> I love, you know, lip sync, uh, sometimes acting as well. Not uh, that much good, but for fun. Very nice. House painting is coming slowly, right? This is not a slow painting. This is a uh, very fresh, very vibrant. Thank full you. of life and air. Thank you. Can you show us a painting, please? Because we are watching you. That's very nice. But maybe we would like to see the painting again. OK, sure, sure. It's almost done. Maybe 15 minutes more that. Uh,
Okay, very close up. Okay. Yes, I think I'll take you up on coming to Nepal to paint with you. And B. Yeah. Uh, is it important in this kind of landscape for you to put some human interaction in it? Or does it matter? Uh, you know, uh, of course, you know, uh, while working on weight on weight technique, if there is an interruption, then definitely something that I might uh, not be possible to work on. But it's okay, no problem. While teaching, uh, you know, we can have, uh, you know, discussions, questioning, answering. So we can do that. But definitely, you know, uh, while we are working, uh, I'm sorry to say that um, still we are having, though we are having, you know, discussions. It's, it's fine. But sometimes, uh, of course, many, I think to many artists, uh, there is a kind of interruption or there is a kind of, they might feel a little bit disturbances or something like that. But here, not problem because while we're teaching, while we're learning each other, okay? That's why, you know, uh, as I uh, keep on telling you that I listen to music, why is that? That help us to concentrate on the work. Okay, most of the parts have been uh, completed and I have to work on a little bit shape of the mountain. Okay, because this is called uh, Mount Fistel. So why this is Mount Fistel? It is called is that is the shape of the mountain is uh, a tail of fish. Okay, so somewhere. So texture is needed here, some shapes. Please keep on asking questions because the painting is almost been finished. So there won't be any disturbances or interruption. So um, you have a dot card with all your colors, but if there were a color that you'd like to introduce to that dot card, what would that color be? The color? Yeah. As in a new color that you'd love to introduce to it. No, actually, I don't have that kind of answer of this, uh, you know, question. Mm -hmm. MB, how MB? yeah. If you only use six colors, what colors would you use? No, of course, uh, primary color is there. Okay. Most of the time you might be seeing that here also, you know, I have used, uh, you know, blue uh, most of the time here and some, uh, you know, vibrant, uh, you know, orange colors, right? Of course, you know, primary colors that I prefer to use. And uh, besides that, um, there are, uh, you know, uh, some colors like uh, in, in terms of blue, uh, that is uh, uh, cobalt blue, and most of the time here also I'm using, you know, cobalt blue and, uh, uh, you know, French ultramarine, ultramarine, all right? Yeah, definitely, you know, primary color I prefer to uh, use. Uh, if someone asks me to use, you know, uh, which colors, six colors that I prefer. Thank you. 
Thank you. And then uh, yesterday when we were going through the dot card, we, we noticed you had uh, a few greens. And can you share with us why you have uh, these greens? Greens? Where I, where I have used green? The green colors that you have chosen on your dot card? Dot, oh, dot card. Okay, you know, those are for, uh, you know, I, I use, uh, you know, sometimes on portrait as well because uh, to make a little bit realistic approach, uh, you know, there is, of course, in our face that we uh, say that uh, the mixture of uh, green is there, all right? I use green. Uh, and uh, of course, there are, you know, mountains uh, mostly that we have here. We use, I mean, we, we paint mountain, I mean, hills, let's say, greenery, I mean, green hills are there. So definitely we use, uh, you know, sap green there and other greens uh, that, um, you know, what uh, we have. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, almost uh, is finished. MB, have you tried the moon glow? A lot of your colors, the mixes look like a moon glow or a, a rose of ultramarine. Have you tried those colors? Those color here, no, I have used here mostly as I as I told you that um, here, while talking about this painting, uh, you know the colors that I have used are predominantly blue, blue that ultramarine blue, uh, you know cobalt blue, and uh, you know crimson as well. So those are the dominant color of uh, I mean color uh, you know on this painting. Very nice. Okay, some highlight and I will finish, okay? We also noticed yesterday you have the Mayan yellow. How do you use Mayan yellow? Mayan, no, the painting that, uh, no, I'm from the dot card you are talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, on, on portrait uh, that I use, uh, you know, the, uh, yellow because uh, uh, it gives uh, you know a lot of vibrancy uh, and then there are yeah it depends on the subject as well what color to be used what is a dot card dot card <laughs> what is a dot card no dot Everybody card is yeah, dot dot card, but i don't know what it is no, maybe John will explain about what is this, he's asking about dot card. Maybe John, what is well, a yeah. dot card? Dot is. Many yeah, I'm of sorry. Them, <laughs> many artists have favorite colors. Yes. And uh, we asked them to pick out 18. It's very difficult because many of them use way more than 18 colors. Okay. Uh, but they uh, they think about it quite a bit and they'll pick out 18 that kind of uh, are used in many of their works just to show uh, their students, et cetera, these are colors and these are how I use them. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you very much. You are and very welcome. That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> and we've just pasted in the chat um, a link to our dot card finder. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here also in Nepal, sorry for the interruption. Here also so many artists, they don't know about dot card. Maybe I'm the, the one that I know because uh, before also, I saw while I was traveling, you know, abroad, I saw a dot card from uh, White Knight. Okay, there were some, uh, you know, ambassador of uh, White Knight. They were using, and that for the first time I heard, you know, about uh, dot card and uh, how it is, uh, I mean, what exactly it is. Okay. Yes, we have a, a couple of other companies that have copied it. Um, we came out with them 10 years ago. So it was, uh, and it's something that uh, I think what's, what I really am, want to explain is on, on Friday, it's for us, it's all about the artist. It's all about you. I mean, you don't have to talk about Daniel Smith product. We really want to get your name, your artwork and your creativity and beauty out to the rest of the world. And if we can do that, that makes us feel really, really good. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not about dot cards. It's not about the products. Really, it's all about you. You've been so, all of you, all of you watching, you've been so tremendous to us. It's, 
you know, it's it's what we can do, and it feels really good to be able to do that. And, and so appreciative of all of you. Thank you, Andy. That's, that's Another great. thing, John, uh, the a dot card is is uh, it's not necessarily the uh, ambassadors dot card. You can also get a full dot card of uh, the broad range of colours. Now that helps. Uh, it, it, if you're trying to figure out what colours you need from the 260 colours that uh, you have. Yeah, Anna's showing that up on, on the screen right now. Okay, he has thank you. Painted out. Yep. Yeah. It's an excellent way to, um, so the 238 dot card is an excellent way to see, because when I talk to so many artists, I've talked to thousands of artists, and it's it's, most people think it's it's just um, it's visual. It's visual and it's tactile. I mean, you have that brush and you can actually feel you know what you're doing through that brush. Well, and also visually. So the dot cards really allow that. It allows you to actually see it and feel the the paint. Mm. So I've been taking class in botanical illustration, which is pretty different from this. So. I'm enjoying watching people slosh the color on and lots more water than I've been, have, been allowed to use, right? Yeah, thank you. Yes, John, I have yeah. finished uh, this painting for now. Okay, ah, so yes, I I take it, yeah, I just take uh, all the, you know, masking tape and then we will see. May I ask a follow-up question for NB? Yeah, please. When you were deciding on your dot, dot card, did you have any specific challenges? Uh, any uh, any conflicts about which colors to choose and which ones to leave out since you were limited to 18? Uh -huh, no, but you know, uh, while choosing those colors, you know, actually what I used to, uh, you know, use, uh, you know, earlier, okay? And then the most, um, I mean, uh, I mean, which I like, uh, you know, uh, I, I just have chosen. Uh, as you know that, uh, as I told you that uh, we, we have been using, you know, local brand uh, of colors, okay? And then, uh, you know, I, I had picked, you know, uh, those colors from those, you know, local brand as well. Uh, it was very tough for me to choose, you know, 18, 18 shares, is that right? Yeah, 18 shares are there. It's too difficult to, you know, choose, uh, you know, those color. Yes. I would suggest another color for you to try sometime and B is a uh, transparent pyral orange. Pyral orange. I think, I think it's in my dot card as well. Well, there's a transparent pyral orange as well. Uh-huh. Since yeah, you like to time, do portraits. Yeah, at the same time, you know, uh, as I already told you that uh, those colors are not available here in Nepal, you know, that is the problem. That's why limited version of color is there. So we don't have any, I mean, alternatives, uh, you know, using then that of available Daniel Smith in Nepal. Okay, this is the painting. So NB, you just took tape off the back of your painting. Are those stabilizer strips to keep your painting from warping? No, exactly. Wow, you know, many that uh, I have used here the tape because uh, someone was asking whether I stressed the paper or not, right? Yes. Or somehow, somehow helping uh, to do stretch, uh, keep on stretching that I have used uh, more, uh, you know, masking tapes behind the painting. Okay. Huh, yeah. Thanks. How is the painting? It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it's completed. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. masterful. Yeah. Wow. You are an amazing, you are an amazing artist. We have warm weather in my country and I almost want to wear a sweater now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing. Yeah, freezing. Yeah. 
predominantly here blue color is there right as i already told you that i prefer to use uh, you know cobalt blue and uh, uh, you know ultramarine blue right see and somewhere bloodstone also here some uh, you see uh, bronze sienna as well mixture of bloodstone and uh, bronze sienna that i have used here for the foreground because uh, i have to focus these areas right that's why i have you know uh, you know put here a little bit dark color okay that was another question i had because i didn't see a black uh black so is? how do you make your darkest dark no 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 of course there is bloody stone that i i told you and uh, there is a mixture, of course, there is, you know, uh, ultramarine blue is there. I just mixed, uh, you know, of those colors, each other, and to bring, you know, dark color. I haven't used here black color though. Dark mm -hmm. black so, from the tube. And B, will you post that for us? This painting? Yes. Yes. So uh, take a photo and then post. Yeah. Yes, we post it to Facebook and Instagram. Oh, I okay, definitely that. That. Yeah, definitely I would do that. I would do okay. that. It's beautiful. Yeah. You, you, you have enjoyed? Oh, yes. It was wow. wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. <laughs> you didn't even <laughs> have to sing to us. You're an amazing performer. It's fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can around 40 minutes, 40 minutes around, right? You did fantastic. It's a, it's a, a class. That you can answer. Okay, very, I mean, it takes, it doesn't take that much time, long time, because we have got uh, time limitations. That's why I chose this, uh, you know, subject. Uh, if I had uh, painted uh, portrait, then definitely could take a long time or some kind of other landscape uh, could have taken a longer time. Because within the time frame limitation of time, time, you know, I had chosen this uh, subject uh, so that I could show all my process and uh, uh, you know finish the painting and to give you complete painting. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Abby. Thank, Thank you for sharing with us. Thank, Thank you for your beautiful Abby. smile. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.